Okay, well, I'm gonna give everybody, well, okay, now we're live, okay. So I'm gonna give everybody about a, a minute. So I was playing around with T6 Plus a little bit ago, and I am actually on top of the roof of my Tundra. So a little story about my Tundra is I'm the second owner, but the other thing is that it has clear coat failure on it. So um, I don't know if any of y'all seen the top of my Tundra. What's up, Chris? But it has clear coat failure on it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show y'all exactly what happens when T6 Plus encounters clear coat failure. Now, keep in mind with this, this is not a substitution for um, a clear coat or anything like that. I'm not saying that. I'm more wanting to show the, and display the um, one to two microns that it leaves behind when you do a pass on uh, paint or if it's failing paint or you guys are visually going to be able to see what it's actually doing when it makes contact like immediately. I already made one video. Um, I actually told Scott about this like a, a week and a half ago. I said I'm buying T6 Plus because I wanted to put on my wife's um, Sequoia but I knew there was clear coat failure on top of my tundra so i'm gonna turn my headlamp on and then i'm gonna show y'all exactly what i'm talking about now what y'all can see right here hold on one second let me get this stabilized all right so right here if y'all can see this line right here this is where i applied t6 plus a little bit ago i did this little section right here this is what it originally looked like okay so we're gonna go over this little section right here and you can tell where I did. I stopped right here, so I'm working with this little camera mount. I actually have the suction cup to my uh, uh, sunroof. Okay, but anyways, so we're going to do this really quick. Um, well, not really quick. I'm going to be very careful, and we'll go figure. I forgot my gloves, so I'm barehanding this, so any of y'all that are PPE police, I'm sorry. I'm breaking all the rules right now, but I'm not getting down again because I'm literally looking at my 12-foot fence right there. I'm on, on the roof. Okay, so... All right, I'm going to bring y'all in a little bit. I'm going to see if I can keep the stable and the lighting good. Actually, I'm going to bring, yep, yeah, y'all right there. That should be perfect. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to get the applicator ready, and then y'all are going to watch this and witness it live. Now, when you have clear coat failure, you um, more, I guess, paint is exposed you know i guess pores that's the way i think about it i don't know i'm not overthinking it but just kind of how what i witnessed it it'll actually soak this up pretty darn quick um so i'm gonna try to let's see i'm gonna put the light on that yeah okay so the light helped a little bit with the camera so there we go we're focused i'm gonna zoom in hold on let's see if i can get this going come on zoom in nope that's not what i wanted we're gonna switch around okay there we go okay so i'm gonna stay right there we're gonna take um, T6 plus right here and I'm going to saturate the cloth okay and then I'm gonna try to focus it again um, so y'all can see I'm actually may pick the camera up so y'all can um, visually see what's going on so the light doesn't get um, distorted so here we go fun things about doing things late at night okay yeah Scott I'm gonna well well yep okay we're overdoing it well, we're doing a full send on this one. Here we go. <laughs> gonna cap that. I'm gonna disconnect it really quick and I want y'all to get up close and personal with uh, this going on, okay? So here we go, right there. And I am going to, here we go. That's as good as it's gonna get. All right, I'm gonna leave that. And you can see how much transfer solution I got right over there. And then wipe. See how it soaked it up? Look at that. Look at that, it even left another layer on top of that other layer I already had. Look at that, that is incredible what it just did. Y'all can see what it did to it. That is insane. Okay, I got another spot right here. We're gonna do it right here. And I think I got enough product on here to do it again. Hold on one second. Let's do it one more time. Y'all can see the nasty swirling and everything we got going on right there. Let's make sure we got enough. Okay, here we go. So you can see how much it's 
literally doing right there. Let's try to get the light right. Okay. But I guess a better buff off, right? That is incredible. Look at that right there. Look at that line of demarcation right there. I'm more going for the line of demarcation. We're not going for filling properties because that's something that's etched. But that is right there. Look at that line right there. Check that out. But this is incredible over here to me. That that you can see the line I did. You can you know where the applicator was. You can see the line right here where I was not. But I already done one coat over this. So that is crazy how much it's soaking up. I'm not saying this is for the. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess I don't know, man. I was just telling Scott. I was like, if this is, if it's it's as thick as I'm thinking it is, I said this should actually be a good example for it. I said I can't think of a reason for it not to be. Um, but yeah, no, yeah, that that's Scott's decision. I don't know. I'm just trying to show y'all. This is the late night crazy stuff I do when everybody else is sleeping. Um, so um, you know what? Let's do another area. I want to. I want to. I know I'm going to make this a little bit longer, but we're going to go. I'm gonna get this a little bit lower. Let's do this again. Anybody else that's been jumping on, hold on. We're gonna do, I gotta get this lower. Yeah, so we're gonna focus, let me see. Hold on, sorry, bear with my crazy ideas right now. Okay, here we go. Right here should be good. I'm gonna see if I can get the light to chill out. There we go. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do it again right there. We're gonna do it right in this little section right here. Let's do it again. Why not? I'm gonna have to buy some more from Scott. So Scott, you're gonna make like a million dollars off of me on T6 Plus right now because I'm gonna have to buy so much more from you. Um, here we go. All right, I'm gonna apply it a little bit more. And like I was telling y'all, when you do T6 Plus, you, what you're wiping off is the transfer solution. But when I'm talking heavy, this is what I'm talking about, okay? Okay, that was probably way overboard. But when you're doing it, Put it on heavy, okay? That was probably like way too much, but I, th this is, when I'm saying heavy, I, I mean heavy. All right, so here we go. Oh yes, that is exactly the view I wanted for y'all. That is perfect. I'm not gonna mess with that at all. I'm gonna do it one more time on this other side right here. We're gonna leave it. I'm gonna let it sit. I'm gonna watch it flash, okay? I could probably buff it off right now, but I'm gonna watch it. I'm watching it separate, so hold on a second. Hang in there. Hang in there. Hold on. It's not there yet. I've got a little buying time right now. Give me a fresh side of the microfiber. And we're going to be wiping off the transfer solution. Almost. Hold on. I think I got some time. I think I got some time. I am really playing with fire right now. How about that? How about that? There. Ha! That. That should show, that that right there, that right there just shows, ooh, that's smooth. Yes, I need to polish, but this is failing clear coat up here, so I'm not gonna push it harder. That right there should show everything that you need to see about T6 Plus. That is a great example right there. Eat your heart out right there. That is a very cool view we're getting of T6 Plus in action on live. Right there, look at that line of demarcation. So, who knows? That's pro that could be more than two microns. But if you're wanting to put something on a boat, if you're wanting to put something on an RV, if you're wa if you have an older car, like I'm not gonna say my truck's new. I take really good care of it, but I knew the top of it was gonna go eventually. This is gonna buy me some time. So just think about that. All right. I don't think it's a replacement for clear coat, but this is impressive. I don't know about y'all, but that is. <laughs> Like, you can see it. I am, like, the phone is, like, maybe an inch away. Maybe an inch away from that. Check that out. I can't get y'all a better view than that with the lighting. That is incredible. So, okay, y'all. But that, that's all I got. So if y'all want to take any screenshots or pictures, I'm going to take a few pictures, and y'all can show all your buddies, um, all your buddies this and anybody or your clients. Maybe this will help show your clients, you know, hey, I'm working with pro sauce stuff. This is not a... This is not child's play. This is not prosumer. This is pro stuff. And it's actually adding, adding to the paint. It's going to enhance it. It's going to make the slickness and, you know, um, the gloss is going to be there. You're getting protection. There, you cannot tell me you don't know something's there. Like that is just affirming and confirming there is something there. 
and man that that it's six years and can handle all that stuff you guys up north i'm telling y'all i've been saying it for a while this is what i would be putting on my stuff if i lived up north if i had bare metal if i was worried about rust this is what i'm putting on my paint so um, i'm gonna shut this off i look like a nerd but this is the late night stuff i do but i hope this um encourages anybody that's up north or maybe if I was up north, I would be like my, it'd be going on my snowmobiles, my snowmobile blades, the snowmobile ski things. I don't know if that you're supposed to do that or not, but I'd be putting it on there. Any spot that has rust potential on it. I mean, my mom and dad are from Michigan. Um, I mean, geez, there's so many things. I mean, any type of equipment. If you have a snow blower, I'd be putting it all over those blades. That's just me. So I love y'all. Uh, I'm going to hush up. I'm going to take a few pictures for you guys. And uh, yeah, y'all share this away. And uh, I'll send the other video up here in a minute on the page. So love y'all. Uh, we're PP. Don't be like me. Don't be stupid like me. But I'm not getting down again. I've been up and down too many times tonight. I love y'all. I'm going to clean up. I'm going to get ready for work tomorrow. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.